prior to um, pursuing this career, I was on a different career path where um, I was actually working on a PhD in Latin American history, focusing on Mexico. I wanted to open a restaurant that um, served food that wasn't necessarily an historical document. I want to take these ingredients and create delicious food. <laughs> it's, cer it's certainly an influence and a, a backbone of a lot of what we're doing, particularly with the masa-based stuff, with the, the items such as playudas and, and, you know, although quesadillas are ubiquitous in Mexico, there's a particular style in Oaxaca. And the moles, you know, there are moles made in all of Mexico, but Oaxaca is known as the land of seven moles. Of course, there's infinitely more because every mother or grandmother's variation is slightly different from um, the others. But you know, the dried chilies are one of those things that come through easily through U.S. customs. It's not an issue. You can declare them. Yeah, every, everybody, everybody I know, if I if I get a sniff or a whisper of somebody who's heading to walk, uh, I, I try and arrange to have somebody, you know, I'll hand some cash and have them hit the market and bring back a double bag. I'm not trying to create something out of thin air. You know, there's 2,000 years of history of eating these moles. You know, they've been making them since pre-Columbian times. And um, the goal here is just to um, make one of the best versions you've ever had when you walk in the door. For the guacamole, it's, this is a very simple version that's using, um, I believe it's just six ingredients. We basically make the guacamole to order, and so it's one, we use one whole, uh, large whole avocado. A traditional guacamole is made in a molcajete, which is a mortar and pestle. It's a, a, a volcanic rock uh, mortar and pestle. We start by taking a few of the other ingredients, the onion, the serrano chili, which is a spicy fresh green chili, um, a little bit of garlic, and a pinch of salt just kind of to add some um, abrasiveness to kind of break it down. We will um, um, work that until it it's, it's becomes more or less smooth. The cilantro as well gets added in there, and so we'll kind of mortar the cilantro with that. And at that point, um, we'll have the avocado um, dice it, half of the avocado will scoop in there and um, mix that and mortar that till smooth with all the other ingredients. Um, and then the other half, which has been diced, will be folded in at the end so that you get um, some contrasting texture. You have the, the smooth guacamole, which is holding the whole thing together, but you have some chunky pieces as well. Salt, obviously, to taste and lime juice, which gives acidity. One person is basically dedicated to making guacamole all night long. It's, it's you know, it, it, people rotate around the stations. It's not the same person every single night, but every night there is one person that their job is to make guacamole <laughs> all night long. <laughs>